Well, hello there again, friends. Today is 7-13-2022, and today is the Odin Project Vlog Day 132. And I want to start off by saying I am incredibly humbled. Uh, my last video has 107 views from two days ago, um, and that's usually around this time. I have about 40 views, uh, 30 views, so... Thank you so much for all you guys that are participating and are hitting my my videos, however you're getting them, um, whether you're subscribed or not. But thank you for the viewing, the viewership, the engagement, uh, all of it. Um, I am very humbled, uh, very excited that there's a lot of new people that are checking this out too. Um, I don't know if they're searching for the weather app or just stumbled upon my channel, uh, but welcome everybody however you are getting here and uh, if you find value in the content that I provide as a newbie uh, kind of just vlogging my journey journey along with you uh, please consider subscribing if you would that greatly appreciate appreciate it and it would greatly uh, uh, grow my channel as well so uh, with that out of the way um, I am on section uh, or bullet point three Write the functions that process the JSON data you're getting from the API and return an object with only the data you require for your app. So we'll get into that um, here in a moment. I do want to show you that um, I did go back in my HTML from the last video and it was bugging me. Uh, I mentioned uh, briefly about uh, wrapping in a form and removing from the form because the button wasn't working right and it was refreshing the page. Well, I <laughs> sometimes I get quirky and I don't like leaving things the way they are, so I decided to do something about that. So after much troubleshooting, um, I'm, I was able to wrap everything inside a form element, as you see here. And I don't remember what I had in the last video for button type if I had anything, but I changed the or added the type of button to button. I think I might have had submit before. So when you have submit, it 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 does essentially reload the page when it when it goes through its submit action. You can use the like we have done in a previous exercise. You can use the uh, method uh, prevent default prevent default. But when I was trying that, uh, for whatever reason, on my particular project, it was not working. Uh, that prevent default method is supposed to keep uh, the form from being fully uh, uh, submitted and causing that, that refresh-like behavior of the browser so that you can run your Java, JavaScript against it. But instead of it just doing what it, uh, a submit you know, button typically does. So basically, I took it from scratch from that and then... Uh, after some Google searching and some researching and some troubleshooting, I came up with this w that works. So, change the type to button. Um, other than that, everything else is exactly the same. The required fields, and um, yeah, so that's that. <clears throat> then we'll go over here to the JavaScript, and we'll just go over the addition. I uh, forgot to comment that out. Um, I was doing some updating on my. Uh, my um, VM here and I'm currently having some issues so hopefully this video actually records okay I had updates to do um, on the VM and updates to do on my host and I had run into some issues so hopefully this is coming across okay and I have any issues but anyway uh, just ignore that commented code there it's just me playing around for, with some things uh, back when I was trying to do the prevent default things uh, prevent default method as I just described so nothing's changed here we have our clear uh, clear button event listener for the click that calls the uh, clear search and um, <clears throat> so I've expanded upon the uh, fetch current weather async function a little bit here uh, everything's uh, still the same up here uh, we're capturing the values of the search city, search state, and search country per the last video. I did add this. We're going to run a check to ensure that all fields have values. So basically, we've you've seen this before. I've done this met methodology before. This is basically uh, <laughs> this is basically the poor man's version of um, not running uh, validation constraint API. Um, I've decided that I want I'm just going to do the poor man right here approach because uh, I do want to move on I don't want to get bogged down in this project uh, 
uh, and have scope creep on things that aren't meant to be in here. Uh, I may circle back to this in the future, but for right now, I'm just going to run this check. So what this does is it's, it, it sees if there's any empty strings in search city, search state, and search country. And if there are, we're going to alert them on screen uh, saying all fields are required. Please try again, and then it will gracefully return them out. And to see what that looks like on the screen, if I just hit the search button, there it is. All fields are required. Please try again. <clears throat> and even if I get, you know, obviously two of the three, even though those are invalid, but just you get the idea. So clear, clears. <clears throat> And it's got a couple of console.logs sprinkled in here for diagnostic purposes. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, the fetch await and response await is the same. No difference there. Uh, here's um, here's where we add some things. Um, so I I uh, added a uh, constructor. A uh, constructor. I constructed an object for my weather app from the uh, API JSON data that was provided in the uh, current data. So um, this is what's going. I'm going to be using moving forward in my weather app. Uh, this satisfies the third bullet we just went over at the beginning of the video. So I have a constant variable called current weather that's taking on um, a, uh, an array-like JSON object of main weather, place, description, temp, humidity, and wind. And we'll go through these real quick. So main weather uh, object ha is getting the value of current data dot weather uh, and then zero index dot main. And if you remember, this this information comes from uh, what we were working on before in the example of the previous exercise where, um, just to show you how I get this, I'll do Chicago. Illinois, US, search. So how we're getting that is we're coming down here and so current data is our is our uh, response JSON. So we're doing current data dot weather. So we go current data. I won't do this for everyone, but just to show you how I got that. So dot weather will be um, the next child uh, object. And that's also an array with another object in it. And then side. That's why we have a, a position. Uh, I always say position. A index of zero because weather itself is a is an embedded array. So we have object zero here, and then we're doing dot main. So then we're going to pick up the main object here and print out the contents of clouds. So that's what that'll do. Is print clouds. All that gibberish will <laughs> will print uh, main weather clouds here in this example. Uh, our place is current data dot name. Um, this is the <clears throat> the location. You get the idea. So name right here. Plus, <clears throat> excuse me, I Tourette's is active. Uh, and then comma space to add in just some visual representation of what what it should look like. Um, what we'd want it to look. What I want it to look like in the um, JSON. So then we're going to add in plus the variable of uh, search state dot to uppercase. So what it's going to do is going to get the name Chicago and uh, the API is really friendly. The uh, name is already uh, capitalized for us, but just for uh, future proofing sake, um, in case it's not, um, I go ahead and uh, call the to uppercase method on it to make sure that 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 uh, that town or city or you know two names if it's two you know Cape Cod or whatever are, are uh, uppercased and then plus uh, we're gonna add an extra space in there and you'll see why here in a minute once we construct it um, that and then we do current data dot sys dot country and I won't go through all these but dot sys here dot country prints out US so that's the country um, and so the space in here just makes it uh, Aesthetics, so it just adds that extra space in there, so not everything's jumbled up. Essentially, the same thing. Why we have the comma space in here, it's separating the responses. <clears throat> so that that uh, takes uh, the property of place, property description gets the key object of current data dot weather uh, index zero dot description, um, 
and <clears throat> so that takes you uh, current data, weather, description right here, few clouds. And then we're going to do a replace on that with a regex. And the regex here, basically, um, it, I'm having it uh, replace uh, any uh, small characters. So anything that's single or uh, lowercase here will be uppercase. So in this example, a uh, few clouds, F and C, will be capitalized in my output. And that, uh, that satisfies that. And then we have uh, the... Uh, parameter of letter uh, it uh, invokes itself self-invoking uh, function and then we're changing the letter to uppercase so that's what that all in print so there's the regex that we're searching for and we're calling letter and running the function against it the letter to uppercase so the uh, first letter will be uppercase and it's uh, using regex to find that uh, that those first letters and to uh, basically locate any spaces and skip those and so uh, we're telling it we want any word that has you know in here as a description for the first letter to be capitalized so probably over explain that a little bit but temp uh, we have the math dot round if you remember we haven't seen this in quite a long time I probably haven't used this since the rock paper scissors project but uh, this changes current data dot main dot temp uh, the value there to math dot round to the nearest uh, hole because the temp in here is where is my temp? There we are. It's under main. Uh, see how it's uh, it's rounded out to the second decimal. So we're going to change it to the uh, round it to the nearest hole. So this will get rounded to 77, for example. Humidity as uh, current data dot main dot humidity. Uh, so we're going to get the humidity and then we're going to add in percent uh, the percent sign uh, just for uh, aesthetic purposes. So it's going to print out the humidity percentage and then we have the uh, wind property that's going to get the key of math dot round current data dot wind dot speed and um, that speed number is. Right here in the wind object, and it's at 12.66. Again, it's rounded to the uh, second decimal. So we're going to uh, math that round that to the nearest hole. So I'll say 13 miles per, miles per hour with a space before it. And to make that look uh, nice and sexy. And then we're going to council out log the current weather, uh, which is what we just built here, so that we can see it in the council. And then the catch error is the same as before. Uh, clear clear search is the same as before no change there so if I reduce this back down you'll see we uh, council log Chicago Illinois US and then we have two fetches uh, we this is the uh, what we we're just looking at this is the raw API fetch and then here is the uh, um, consult log for the uh, for the uh, object build that I want uh, now, of course, this has been, uh, you'll probably notice this in yours as well, if you're using Firefox, it, by default, it, uh, f alpha, it resorts everything alphabetically by, um, by, uh, object key, so the D is coming first, obviously, even though in my code I have main weather, so you get the point here, it's just not looking exactly sexy in this format but it doesn't matter because in the code is all it matters so I want it to look like this and and then when we in the future video uh, when we print it off to the screen it'll look like this so but the but the idea is here so we have few clouds that's working that's capitalizing as should humidity 61% uh, main weather clouds it capitalizes the C place is Chicago space uh, comma space Illinois space US so it's a it's applying that formatting just right Temp is rounded up to 77 degrees. Wind is rounded up to 13, and then space miles per hour, as we described. So it's doing exactly what what I thought and what I wanted to do, which is good. And that is it. So <clears throat> keeping uh, keeping this video around the 15 minute mark, it looks like. So that is all. I still have not added any obvious, obviously no style or anything. Uh, yet uh, the next section will be basically rounding out the form uh, I've already 
basically got that done. I'll probably uh, pretty it up more, make it look better, um, you know, that sort of thing, because this is pretty crude. I uh, haven't done anything with that yet. So probably in the next video, I will be uh, cleaning this up, making it a little bit better, um, and maybe uh, adding a little more validation. We'll see. I like the poor man's thing. Like I said, I don't want to get bogged down in scope creep, so I want to keep this uh, succinct. Again, thank you guys, and welcome all the newbies uh, who are to the channel. I welcome you. Uh, please uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. And there are like 70% of you that watch these uh, videos that are not subscribed. So uh, if you would, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know in the comment section on the video here uh, how you guys are coming along with the Weather App Project. And um, thanks for coming along the journey today. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe for more content. And until next time, see ya.